Hey everybody, this is Lindsay from Club Pilates, Elmhurst, Westmont, and Oak Park. Um, bringing you another 30 minute workout here today. We're going to be using um, a couple of rags to kind of emulate our gliding discs that we use in our control classes. Um, I tried doing, you know, just my, my usual like dusty rags or uh, dingy rags. I have one that had like a bunch of old paint on it and that definitely didn't work well. So I definitely recommend like a clean rag or something that just kind of works um, for gliding on the floor. Definitely test it out before you start using it. Um, I just want to have a quick kind of check in with everybody. I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, today has definitely been a harder day for me mentally. Um, I'm used to a routine. I am a creature of habit and not being able to get in and see the members, get in and get a workout in, get in and kind of feel my normal strength um, has been kind of a downer for me. Um, I've been getting out and walking either with my husband, my mother-in-law, just by myself, and that's been really nice, but I know that we are all kind of missing our normal workouts. Today I'm going to go, um, it's definitely an all-level type workout, like yesterday was a little bit harder. I definitely think that this is an all-inclusive kind of workout, but I do want to slow myself down and I'm going to go a little bit slower so that I can kind of feel my muscles again and kind of bring my body warm and uh, feel strong um, because right now it's very easy to feel weak and scared and nervous. I want to feel strong, empowered, and healthy. So that's what I'm going to help myself do today. Um, so I have my chair. You can definitely use a bar stool, um, anything with something that you can grab onto. You can definitely use a countertop. Um, I have my mat, it's folded in half, you'll see why shortly, and I have my two rags down here, notebook as always with what's going on. Grip socks for inside, um, if you feel comfortable going barefoot, awesome. So I'll start with standing footwork here at my chair. So going into that chair, you guys remember we did the standing footwork the other day, I'm going to go straight into Pilates V. Heels together, toes apart, and I'm going to squeeze up the back line of my body, light grip on that chair, I'm going to go up to my tiptoes and drop it down. Just find that breath up to my tiptoes and drop it down. You guys kind of know my pacing. I'm going to slow it down today just to kind of get in on that workout as well, kind of get some of those benefits. Squeezing my backside as I just come up and down. Mm -hmm. Let's hold it up. Hold the lift here. Squat down. Keep the heels together. Press up and squeeze. Keep the heels together as you squat down. Press up and squeeze. Watch it. You're not rounding forward. No thanks. You want to keep your back nice and straight. Press up and squeeze the backside. Squat down, press up, squeeze. Yep, let's do three more. Uh huh. And two. Yep. One. Lower down halfway, hold. Holding here, press your knees back behind you. Back. Back for five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up and come down. Wonderful. Take your feet wide. Taking your feet wide, take a big deep breath, we're externally rotated still, feet stay flat as we squat down, press up, squeeze the inner thigh, squat down, press up, squeeze, and squeeze. Even though those inner thighs are separated, you're squeezing them as if they're together. Press up and squeeze, yep, squeeze, uh-huh, let's do three, and two. And one, halfway, halfway, and we pulse. Little pulses here. Definitely gonna wake up thighs, waking up glutes. We're gonna get into our hamstrings today. This is definitely a lower body workout. Of course, it's total body, but there's definitely a focus on that lower body too. And one, stand it all the way up. Going single leg here, I'm gonna favor my right leg and bring my left leg back behind me. And it's going to be really small. I'm going to come up to my tiptoe, drop it down. Or not small, short. Up to my tiptoe, drop it down. Now if you feel unstable, of course you can keep your hands on that bar. Um, or you could bring both feet down. And both feet could go up to the tiptoes and down. Two. And one. Excellent. Just a few here. You're going to bend and press through the heel. Bend and press. Yes, you might have to lean forward, but I don't want you to round. I want you to stay active here. Press through that knee. Press through the heel. Knee tracking line. Toes two and one. Excellent. Let's switch out feet. Favoring now. My left foot, bend my right leg. 
up to the tiptoes and down. Up to your tiptoes and down. Whew. Been getting a really a nice amount of feedback from everybody, so I just want to say a quick thank you to people who've been sharing the video, um, people who've been subscribing to the channel and leaving comments. That's been really nice too. Last one, come on down. Keep that foot flat and we bend and press. Today I received a very nice note from a woman in Connecticut, so hi. <laughs> really nice um, talking with you this morning. Really nice note, thank you very much. So that's really cool too. And one, excellent. Parallel your feet, but just kind of open them up. And just take a few squats here, and I'm gonna take my hands off of that bar and go into prayer. I'm gonna squat down and press up. And you see how I'm not, I'm hinging forward, but I'm not rounding forward, and as I press up, I'm squeezing. Uh-huh, press up, squeeze. Full range of motion, as low as you feel comfortable going. And yep, I got my arms involved here. Let's do two and one. Excellent. Let's go ahead and come down to our mat. I have my mat folded in half here. This is support my back. I am going to bring my rags with me because I'm going into that bridging. We'll use those shortly here. Now, this is going to be a lot of hamstrings here. You can always ditch those rags at any time, so feel free to... Um, do that as well again. This is your workout, you're gonna use it how you need it. So I have definitely my backside um, kind of up against that mat. We'll be lifting and lowering from the back anyway. You want your feet off of the mat. So go ahead and lay all the way down. We'll get those regs in a minute. Laying all the way down, hands press down into the floor. Heels are underneath your knees. Start with that hinge bridge. So squeeze your butt, hinge up and lower down. Uh, press up, squeeze, and hinge down, neutral spine. <sighs> Let's get our abdominals involved. <sighs> if you're feeling comfortable with your bridging here, you can go into that articulated bridge. So what I'm going to do is tuck my pelvis. See how I flatten there and my hips do a little bit of rocking. My butt does lift just about an inch imprinting and then I start to roll up one vertebra at a time and roll down one vertebra at a time. Tuck and roll up and roll it back down. Again, one vertebra at a time, imprinting and rolling and rolling down. You guys get to see my meat cuts and pig wall here today and a little glimpse of my mud room. Don't think I didn't vacuum before I showed that off. Wonderful. Let's do one more. Awesome. Coming up here, let's just do some pulses. And as we pulse, squeeze your backside. Mm -hmm. Let's do two. And one. Come on down. Coming down. We're going to recruit one of those um, rags here. I have a dish towel and just like a small rag. I folded it up so it's not like everywhere. Um, do as you please. If you have one rag that's kind of like a washcloth type of thing, um, or if you're from St. Louis, a washcloth, uh, you just, it's pretty small, so you can probably keep your full foot on there. I have like a dish towel, so I fold it up in four. I'm going to keep it underneath my right foot, and I'm going to roll up and down just to get used to it being there, rolling up and down. Let's do two more. And then on that third one, go ahead and hold it. Hold the lift here. Press that rag out and pull it in. Dig your heel into that rag. Press it out. Pull it in. Hamstrings here. Out and in out and in. Now see my arms are still pressing down into the floor. I'm breathing. Hopefully, yeah, let's do two and one and bring it all the way in and come on down. Coming down, going ahead and switch feet here and that hamstring is going to start to light up. We will go into both legs and you have an option to go back to single leg if that's too much. So again, rolling up and down, getting used to it. We have three of those. Mm-hmm. Last one, up and we hold. Anchor down in that foot without it, we press it out and pull it in. Press out, pull in. Let's do three, and two, and one. All the way in, and come on down. Now we're gonna recruit that other rag here. Both feet have rags. Now this is where things start to get a little slippery, so you have to really engage from the hamstrings Engage from the glutes and make sure that you're stable here. You're going to tuck your pelvis and start to roll up and down three times. Rolling up and rolling.
volume down. If you've taken my TRX class, this is going to seem very familiar. Come all the way up and hold, send one leg out, bring it back in, other leg out, and back in. Continue to alternate. Now you could take your hands to your pelvis. Is my pelvis rocking around? No, it's nice and flat. Yep, yeah, out and in. Out and in. Feels good. Yep, yeah, let's do two and two. Last one and one coming in, coming down. Last set here is going to be five with both legs out and in. This is going to be big time on those hamstrings here, so if you need to do any shimmy shaking, uh, please, please, please do. So getting yourself set up, like I said, five of them. Just five, and five will totally be enough. So go ahead and roll all the way up and hold both legs out. Pull it in, one, yeah. And two, yeah, try to keep your butt lifted. Three, ooh, here comes four, last one. And come on down, that was totally enough for me. Oh, knees come into the chest, a little bit of rocking side to side. We're gonna get through the full ab series, and then we'll use those gliders again to go through teaser. So bring your legs into tabletop, and we'll start with just five chest curls, 10 lower lifts, 10 single legs, five double legs, and then uh, crisscross, 10, on, uh, 10 total. So go ahead, five chest curls, hands behind the head, legs at tabletop, pull your belly in, use your exhale, curl up. Four, and five. Extend your legs out, legs lift, and lower. Exhale, inhale to lower. Two, last one. Bring your hands to your calf or your thigh and let your leg lower, scissor legs and switch. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna use that double pump to get that nice stretch and that'll be good relief from what we just did. Uh-huh, I have two more. And then single leg stretch, I bend my knee in, grab onto that chin, tuck up tight. Extend my opposite leg long, keeping that quad active and switch. Nine and 10, both knees come in. Brief, brief for the second of relief. We have five double leg stretches. Both legs extend out, both arms extend out, sweep the arms and tuck up tight. Both arms, both legs, reach, sweep, tuck. Reach the legs, reach your arms, sweep and tuck. Two, three, four, and five. Can you go right into crisscross? And switch, switch, and switch, switch, and switch. Two, and one. Lower down, very, very nice. Abdominals definitely on. They are going into roll up, roll down with our regs. So I'm going to extend both legs out. Our abs are on. We don't need to practice, but we will do three full roll ups here, and we're going to roll through, reaching through our legs. So just keeping my feet underneath or over those rags, I'm going to bring my hands up over my chest. I'm going to tuck my chin to chest, exhale, roll all the way through and stretch through the legs. Here we go, tuck my chin to chest. That first one's always a doozy. Reach it through, restack, rebuild, tuck, roll it down. Yep, chin to chest. Rolling up and reach it through. Yep. And then we have one more here. And roll all the way back down. We're going to do three on each leg here. Or we're definitely nice and warm. Three on each leg, pulling that knee in as we roll up. Uh, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. Um, go on ahead and get your hands up over your chest, excuse me. And then you're going to bring that right knee into the chest. Tucking your chin to chest, see your right toe and pull, 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 pull from the hamstring from the oblique, bring it up and then roll it back down. 
Wonderful. Tuck your chin to chest. Even pressure, even lift here too. You don't want either one to beat the other to the top. Last one. Holding it in. Excellent. Let's lay all the way back down. Other leg, left leg. Tuck my chin to chest. See my toes. Pull, 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 pull. Bring it in. Yep, two more. Again, same amount of time. Use that exhale. Roll it up, pull. Roll it in. Wonderful. Now both legs are going to come in, and I want you to dig with those hamstrings just like we did with our bridging. So hands up in front of your chest. Tuck your chin to chest. See the toes, and pull, 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 pull with those low belly abdominals. Pull it in, and from the hamstrings, two more. Pull, 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 and send it out. One more. And come on in. Go ahead and just set those rags to the side here. Getting them set to the side, we're going to go into uh, plank prep, our favorite. So with plank prep, it's just warming up those abdominals here, getting ourselves set up for the bigger move, that plank. 30 second uh, plank prep, 30 second regular plank, 30 second plank, using the rags for our mountain climbers. Now getting yourself set up, you want your uh, hands down on that mat, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Curl your toes and lift your knees to hover an inch. 30 seconds here and breathe. Shoulders down the back. Eyes are lifted past your fingers and breathe. The lower you are, the harder it is. Ten more seconds. And one. Come on down. Excellent. Going into our regular plank. If you know that regular planking is a little tough for you, forearms, knees, that's totally an option. And when we get into the rags, you can ditch them, you can leave them, and you can challenge yourself in another way. Getting yourself set up. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Reach one leg back, grip the ground, and lift. Pull the belly in and breathe. 30 seconds here, reaching through the heels, reaching through the neck. Option to add on that body saw that we love so much, pointing the toe, flexing the heel. <sighs> Breathing. <sighs> Hold that plank here and breathe. Three, two, and come on down. Coming down here now, you have to be careful with these gliders gliders um, with these rags underneath your toes because they will want to move on you. So if you do not feel strong enough to hold them underneath you, that's fine. We're going to go into mountain climbers, so bending one knee in and out, alternating. You could add on um, a little bit of a twist, opposite knee to opposite elbow. That always feels nice on those obliques. Uh, nice, kind of. Um, but you could challenge yourself that way too. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Lift everything up and press those rags away. Now hit that plank and just hold it here before we start adding on anything. Choose what you're going to do with those rags. I'm going to go opposite shoulder, uh, knee, opposite elbow. And continue here, keeping your shoulders down, keeping your butt down. Man, this is going to be the shiniest floor anyone has ever seen. <sighs> mm -hmm. Making sure you have that split second where you're hitting that plank and it's strong. Hold that plank now for five, four, three, two. Press your hips up, uh, graceful, more graceful than that, and take a stretch here if you need it. Send your rags to the other side. And we're gonna actually go into a push-up. I'm looking for 10 push-ups. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, regular push-ups, knee push-ups, tricep push-ups. You know your push-up style. You know what you like to do and what feels good for you. So get yourself set up. If you're on your knees, press your hips forward and your toes will lift. You're in a kneeling plank. Press, bend, and press. If you'd like your long legs behind you, that's what I'm going to go for. Ten of those. Here we go. Awesome. So after you finish those push-ups, I'm going to have you come up to your uh, uh, chair and you're going to pick your towel here, pick a towel that you know is going to move pretty easily. And we're going to do those 
reverse lunges that we love so much. We're going to get our mat out of the way just so we don't end up butting up against it. We're going to do some reverse lunges with our towel. So holding on to that bar stool, you're going to anchor down in your right leg and have the towel underneath your left foot. Um, with your left foot here, you want to have your toes on that towel. You don't want to have your whole weight in it. So keep a light touch with that towel, anchor down in your right foot, and you can have your hands on the chair or you can come to prayer. Getting yourself set up, reverse lunge back, press through the heel, return. Ten of those. Here's five. Press through the heel, recruit the inner thigh. Three, two, belly's in. And reverse lunge, hold. Ten pulses here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold here. Hold on to that chair. Uh, and you're going to pull it in for skater, keeping the bend in that knee and press it out. Feeling a ton of heat build in that thigh. Uh huh. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Pull it in and press it up. Wonderful. Going into side skater, side lunges. Um, so we'll go side lunge, pulse, and skater. So I'm going to anchor down again. Same foot here, same whole setup. But I want to take my right foot and do a little bit of external rotation, pulling up, pointing that knee and toe out a little wider. With that, I feel like I can set my hips back a little bit further, but again, you don't want to round in your spine. Keep yourself up nice and tall. Holding onto that side chair, you might have your hands come back to prayer or bring them back behind your back. Getting yourself set up for that first one, hold on, side lunge, and then pull it back in. Uh-huh. Two. Belly's pulled in, recruit that inner thigh. Uh huh. Seven, eight, nine, and hold that ten. Hold and we pulse. Pulse, pulse. Here's three, two, and one. Pull it in. We'll switch legs here, and I'm just going to switch my chair over and get it myself set up. We're going to do that same thing here. So now I'm going to bring that towel underneath my right foot, anchor down in my left. Again. Holding on to that chair is totally fine. Hi, uh, you might like prayer, you might like hands to hips. Getting yourself set up, reverse lunge back, pull it in. <sighs> Shoulders down, you want to keep your eyes forward and your chest lifted. Mm -hmm. And again, shining up that floor. It's going to be the shiniest part of your kitchen or your dining room or your basement. Let's do three, two, hold here, hold, and here's those pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and pull it in. Uh, ah, skater, sorry. Hold it out there. Pull it in. Press it out. Pull it in. Hands could come behind the back. Uh-huh. Here's 4, 3, 2, and 1. Pull it in and stand it up. Wonderful. And again, Extra rotation as you turn to the side might be more friendly for you. If you prefer to go straight um, in line with the hip, in line with the knee, that's fine with me. I just feel like I can get a little bit lower externally rotated. Holding on to that chair, you could free up your hands and come back to prayer. You could bring your hands behind to the small of the back. Dealer's choice there. Get yourself set up and let's go for it. We do side lunge, pull it in. Side lunge, pull it in. Three. Use that inner thigh, grow taller. Mm -hmm. Six, eight, nine. Hold on ten, ten pulses here. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold here, skater in and out, in and out. Here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and pull it in for ten awesome 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 i'll finish with that go ahead and put your chair put your uh, uh whatever you're holding on away take that longer towel with you if you had like a dish towel or a rag go ahead and prefer the dish towel you want something longer 
We're just going to go into those stretches here that we normally do with our magic circle. So go on ahead, take your towel. Oh, I forgot one thing. Coming back up. Oh, sorry. Uh, we want to do some stretching, some standing stretching here. This is from our fun functional standing movement uh, warm up. I like to stretch, and since we're not in the studio, rules just go out the door. So let's go on ahead. Stagger our stance here, railroad track style. You want your toes pointing forward and everything in line like there were railroad tracks parallel. So I have my right foot forward, left foot back. We're going to focus on that left calf lengthening. Bring my hands out forward in front of me. Lunge forward one, pull it back. Two, uh huh. We'll do five, three. Keep that heel down. Four, lunge forward five. Hold it there as we lunge forward. Dip down. Glute lengthening in the right glute, bring it back up. <sighs> Belly's pulled in, a lot of balance here. Three, two, and bring it up. Now holding it here, hold that one. Hips go forward as you lengthen that left hip flexor. Back bend, bring it back. Uh huh. <sighs> two. And one, bring it back. I'm just going to turn to you so you can see what I'm doing here. I still have my feet, my right foot forward. My arms are in a goal post. And I'm going to start by leaning towards that front leg side, so that right side. Bring it back, laterally bend. Uh-huh, bring it back. One more. Yep, last one. Excellent, bring your arms out to a T, keeping that staggered stance. Starting with that leg that's out front, my right leg, I rotate, spiral up, bring it back. Rotate away, spiral up, bring it back. One more. Bring it back, last one. Excellent. I'm going to bring my hands out in front of me and I'm going to sweep my left leg through and hold it for a balance challenge. Hold that lift, belly, ah, belly pulled in, shoulders down the back, and just hold it here. Holding, you could point your toe and flex your heel. You could circle through that ankle, that feels nice. Yep, two and one. Bring it down. Excellent. We'll do that exact same thing. But now for that right side. Well, I guess it's for both sides, isn't it? So you want to stagger those stands. Now my left leg's forward and my right leg's back. Hands are out here. I'm going to lunge forward, lengthening that right calf. Keep the heel down. Uh-huh. You may have noticed that uh, things kind of switched around for a second. And that's okay. Hinge forward and pull it back. My tablet ran out of juice. So I had to redo this last half. And that's okay. Then I get double, double the uh, gliding there, get to taste my own medicine. Lengthening that glute coming up. Now it's that back bend, hip flexor, stretch. Uh-huh, hip flexor, stretch. Two, and one, awesome. Arms come up to that goal post. We lean towards our left leg, and back to center, away, and back towards the left, and the right, awesome. Bring your arms up to a T. Rotate towards that front leg and return. Rotate the opposite direction. There you are. Coming back one more time. Bring it back. Yep. Excellent. Hands come out. Balance challenge. Bring that left foot, uh, right foot forward. Holding here with your belly in and your shoulders down. Point your toe. Flex your heel. Point your toe. Flex your heel. Circle through the ankle. Belly's in. Reverse that circle. Go the other way. And then bring it down. Awesome. So like I had started before, go on ahead and come down to your mat. And again, you want your long towel with you. Go ahead and take that towel. We're going to do our hamstring stretches, inner thigh, outer thigh, um, and then up. Inner thigh, IT band, and then we'll roll up and we'll be all set. So go ahead and lay all the way down. I'm going to keep my right leg bent and bring my left leg up to the ceiling. Grabbing onto that towel, I'm going to try my best to exhale and press through that heel up towards the ceiling. I used to have a spin instructor who had us do this um, stretching after class and we would all be shaking, but she'd have us hold it for a few minutes. Oh my gosh, like an earthquake was coming through town. Left leg, uh, right arm. Go on ahead and let it go out to the side. Now you'll see my right leg, my right knee kind of open up to support here that opening so I also don't rock forward or rock over to the left side. Bring it through, switch hands. Switching hands, cross it over the body, and there's that IT band stretch. And you might be able to see it, but my leg's starting to shake here. 
It's that muscle trying to relax, but it just can't bring it back. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and switch. My knee is bent on my left leg, feet flat, foot flat on the floor, and just extend that leg up towards the ceiling. And breathe through it. For some of us, this can be really tight. And for having to redo this, I'm still pretty tight. Left hand has the rag as you go out to the side. Mm -hmm. You guys have gotten to see a lot of my house. Bring it back through and switch. Switching here, you get to see the mudroom, the pig wall. You got to see the entrance to the dining room. You got to see some of the backyard yesterday. I think you're going to get to see, you need to see my couch tomorrow. What? The couch workout? Yeah, I said that. Bring it back. Wonderful. Go on ahead and take that out. Set it to the side. Thank you, Reg. You've been great. Both knees come into the chest. Grab onto the shins and just start like a light rocking. Just a light rocking to massage the spine. Feels good. Let's do two. And rock forward. Rocking forward. Go ahead. Come into an all fours position. Couple cat backs and cow bellies. Mm -hmm. From the pelvis. Last one. Come to neutral. Tuck your toes. Pop your hips up. Wonderful. Walk your hands towards your feet. And start to round it up. As you round up, bring those shoulders back. Settle your shoulders down your back. You guys all have been so wonderful uh, sharing and um, passing this along to friends and family members. Also giving us likes and subscribes to comments have been coming in. Like I said before, I've gotten a few neat comments from the East Coast, so that was pretty cool. Um, if anybody has any questions, comments, things that you'd like to see, please, please, please let me know. Um, if you're also feeling like a little down, if this is, this is a tough time for all of us, you're not in this alone, but if you're feeling a little down and you need a little pick-me-up, please, just let us know and we can totally reach out and talk and chat and get each other kind of built back up. This is a really weird time and like I had said before, I woke up feeling very, very uh, uh, down. So this was helpful to get me through it. If um, you guys want to see anything, please let me know. Please like, share, subscribe, all those really good things. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.